Some conversations are about generating heat, and some conversations are about generating light. And there's a different purpose behind each of those conversations. Heat generating conversations are about tension and conflict and often trying to persuade the other person of your point of view. And the heat comes from the, the clash of ideas, the clash of opinions, and the clash of perspectives. In the light conversations, the goal is to understand better. It doesn't mean you don't have equally strong opinions. It doesn't mean you don't have a deeply held perspective, but you assume the other person does as well. Psychologists are studying race with new methods and new tools that we never had before. Economists are now studying it, sociologists. This is a topic that social scientists have been interested in for a long time, but we haven't had the tools that we have now. With the tools we have now, we can produce a vocabulary and we can produce data that's harder to refute. We were, um, my co-authors, Katie Milkman at Wharton and Madupe Akinola at the Columbia Business School, we were really interested in understanding how something like race affects really informal, casual behaviors, like sending an email to someone and whether or not you get a response. This is a perfect setting to study the impact of race. So what we did was we went through the U.S. News & World Report. We made a list of the top 260 universities in the U.S four-year colleges, and we gathered uh, another list of every PhD granting department in those universities. And then we randomly selected, using faculty websites, one professor from every department. So now we had a list of several thousand faculty randomly selected from across the U.S. And what we wanted to do was send them emails from what looked like real prospective doctoral students requesting an opportunity to learn more about their research and their PhD program. We put together a very brief, very polite, perfectly worded email. The only thing we varied was who was the sender of this short email requesting help. We created 10 identities, so we took male, female, and we crossed it with names that sounded, based on pretests, white, black, Hispanic, Indian, or Chinese. And we even, just to be sure we weren't picking up on some funny effect tied to one particular name, had multiple names per identity. So for the 10 identities, we had a few names in each one. And so what we did one Monday morning in April is we set up our servers to start sending out these emails at the identical moment to each of the professors across the country asking for this meeting. Sometimes the meeting was for a week from now, sometimes it was sooner. I'm gonna focus on the condition in which they were asking for a meeting one week from now on campus. What we found in those emails is that if you were a white male, you were far more likely to get a response to your email than if you were in any of those other groups I described. We, we analyzed them as a whole. So we basically had white males compared to non-white males. And we found the white males were far more likely to get a response from the professor than the non-white males. We of course deleted all identifying information about the professors themselves. We have no um, trace of knowing who is in our data, but we can tell you that it was a business school professor at a private university, for example, and then look for patterns by the type of university or the type of discipline the person was in. So for example, in the discipline of business, where we saw the most severe bias amongst all the disciplines, we found that 87% of white males received a response to their email, and 62% of the other groups combined received a response. That's a really significant difference um, based off of nothing more than the name that accompanied the email. It's the kind of stuff uh, that requires us to go into into the conflict, into the tension, and into the discomfort. And we need to be willing to learn from science and data. There's an opportunity now to deepen our psychological literacy around topics like race that will lead to more light-based conversations.